Welcome to our series on word processors or Microsoft Word and in this lesson we're looking at mail merge. Now what is a mail merge? Well the best way to describe it is with an example. Let's pretend you've got a letter that you need to send to multiple people. It's the same letter but you want to customize it with their name and the details in each and every individual letter and all these details are stored in another place for example a spreadsheet or maybe even the database. Well, you could manually create each and every individual letter to try to customize everyone's letter. Or we could merge the data from the spreadsheet or from the database into your Word document. So let's look at the steps involved. The first step is to start a mail merge. You need to tell the word processor that this document is going to be merged with another. Then we need to select the recipients. In other words, select where are we getting the information from. Are we getting it from a spreadsheet? Are we getting it from a Word document? Maybe it could be data from another Word. It could be from a text file. It could be from a database. So where are we getting this information? Now, there is another sub-step before we move to step three, and that is maybe we don't want to send the information to everyone that's in our source where all our data is. So maybe we want to edit the recipients list. Maybe we only want to send it to certain people that are in that list. So we can filter it a little bit so that we can send just to particular people. And then we want to insert fields what fields we want to put into our document and those fields are going to be the fields from our source from our recipient so maybe we want to insert their name as a field or their surname any details about them that we've stored in our source document or in our recipients that's where we are going to get our fields and we're going to use that to insert that into the mail merge and then we can preview our results just make sure that everything's working make sure that the first it'll, when we preview the results it'll show us one or the very first letter that is compiled or the first document that is compiled with all the source fields in and we'll see does it match is it in the right format are we happy and once we are happy with the results then we can actually finish and do the final merge where it can create a brand new document where all the letters are compiled in one and each one will be customized with the fields from the source so let's have a look at this letter. Yeah, we've got a letter which we're sending to people that are going on an adventure camp and we want to write their details. We want to write their name because we want to customize the letter. We want to say what class they're in. Maybe we want to say what team and their team leader and their campsite. And that's all going to be dependent on maybe a database or a spreadsheet. And that's what we want to send them. Now, this is for John Smith. Now, I've got a spreadsheet over here which contains all of their names and their surnames and their grades and their classes all together in one spreadsheet. Now I could do this manually and literally, let's come over here to sample it. Let's, I could literally go and copy this document and go copy and paste it further down. So we're going to press control enter and paste another version of it. And now, and then I can put in the new details of everyone. So then I'm going to put Jane Doe in, in 11B, and then I can manually go and change it. Jane Doe 11B and I could do this and that would be a waste of my life because I'm taking so long to do a simple task I would have to do that for every single person's letter that's going to be a waste of my time so how can I do it in one go so let's have a look we're going to first of all we're going to go to mailings that's the key bit there that's where we're going to be working so I'm going to go to mailings and all our steps are over here there is the start the mail merge there is the selecting the recipients we're going to edit which ones we want to send to we're going to insert the fields here. We could do some other things as well if we want to. We can preview the results and then we can finish them. So there's our steps. It's all followed right there. We go from the left to the right. It's very easy. So we're going to start the mail merge. The first thing we're going to start and you select what type of mail merge you're going to do. You could do envelopes and labels. If you do those ones, they will ask you to, they will ask you for the size of the envelopes or the size of the label so you can set that. So that it'll set the paper size so that you can make it a life a little bit easier. Maybe you want to create labels to be able to send to people. But in our case, we are doing letters. And that's the first step. We've selected what we want to do. The next step is to select our recipients. Here we're going to select where we're getting the information that we want to merge with this letter. Do we want to type a new list or we want to use an existing list? Well, as I showed you, I've already got a spreadsheet here called Details, which has all the details in. So I'm just going to merge this with that document. So I'm going to go select recipients and use an existing list. And as you can see, there is the details. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it. There we go. So now we have connected this document with that particular spreadsheet. Now you could have multiple sheets in a spreadsheet. So it asks you which one are we using? Our one. We've only got one that we're worried about, that sheet one. 
Obviously, this would be slightly different if it was a database. If it was a database, it would ask you which table do you want to use or maybe which query you want to use. So depending on what your source is, depends on what will come up over here. And does the first row contain our headers? Yes, I do believe so. There we go. The first row contains our headers. That's the other little trick. Make sure that your data is, if it's in a spreadsheet, make sure it's right at the top. So the first heading is in A1 and it flows across. Then it'll make your life a lot easier. So let's go here. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. And there we go. So that's the second bit. There we go. Now, if, for example, let's look at this data over here. Let's pretend we only wanted to send to the grade 12s. Then we would want to use this list, but only those particular people. If that was the case, then I could come here to edit the recipient list. And if I click on that, then I can see all the list of names that are in my source. I can deselect which ones I want to include if I want. I could sort it if I want. Or I could even do a filter. If I do a filter, I could say, hey, I want all of them where the grade is equal to 12. Or maybe you want the 11s and 12s. Then you would say greater than equal to 11. So it would be 11 and 12. So if I did that, for example, you'll notice we only have the grade 12s now. So you can do things like that if you do a filter. You can do lots of things with a filter. You can do lots of criteria. You can say, and the way the class is equal to an A. And there we go. So you can see only the 12 A students. So you can do that type of thing. Obviously, I'm going to clear all because I want to go to everyone, but you can edit your recipient list if you want. And it might not be ex excluding people. It might just be sorting it or removing duplicates or anything like that. So you can do that. So we've got our recipients. We've got we've edited it or we don't need to. And now we come to this part here. So if you look over here, look, I want you to take note of all these headings. Do you see it's code, name, surname, grade, class, team, leader, campsite, Owen. And if I come over here, now that I've connected this Word document with that spreadsheet, if I come here to insert merge field, what do you notice when I click on that arrow? All of those headings are now potential fields that we could enter. So if I want to enter in John, instead of the name John, I want anyone's name. I'm going to replace that with the name field. And then I'm going to put surn a surname there. Instead of Smith, it's going to be the surname field. So whatever's in the surname block for each person will then go into that particular place. You'll notice that you can't just type in those funny little uh, arrows. You've got, you've got to use the insert merge fields because when you click on it, you can see that it's gone gray. Now, where do we get the 12 from? That's obviously their grade. And then the A is their class. And then the Team, we can say the team is from the team. There we go. That's easy enough. That's their team leader. And then their campsite. Are oh, you seeing how I'm just filling in the fields as I need them? So let's select the text there. There's the campsite. And this is how much they are being owed or how much money they are owed. So there we go. So I've added the fields as I need them to be. That's all. It's the thing that looks like everything. So we've done the start we've selected our recipients we did editing if we needed to and we inserted these fields let's just to see what it looks like let's preview our results before we actually do the final merge so i'm going to preview the results and you can see it does the first page there's only one page here um, there's a second page which i'll get rid of i don't want that second page but there we go the, my only problem here is you'll notice that the 120 over there doesn't seem like it's the same as that one so we want it to be in a different format so because it's seeing it as text i'm just going to actually manually put in an r there so it looks like a, a rand and you can put the dot zero zero there if you want to make it look like it's currency and stuff. so you can do some editing like that so let's have a look that is the first result so i'll go back sorry so there's an r and then there's a dot zero zero around the word owen so by seeing the preview of the results okay there we go i just want to get rid of the second page yeah i just want it to be one page so i'm pressing delete to get rid of those soft enter so there we go so there we go it's one page with all those little fields in so we've done one step one step two step three and step four now we can go to the finished product so yeah i can merge them i can go send emails i can print the documents or i can edit them individually so i'm going to do that edit them individually and so there's still some more options yeah we could maybe do the first five options the f first five records if we wanted to if we want to do that but i want to do all of them so i'm going to click ok for all boom and you'll notice this is called sample letter, but now there's a brand new document that's appeared called letters one. And you can see there's the Smith, there's the 12A, there's all the fields. But I want you to notice there are eight pages. 
or well, actually there are 20 pages now. It's, as, we go, as you go down, you go to page two, there's Jane Doe. This is her letter with her details. And I scroll down and go, this is Sarah Jane. This is her details. And so on and so on. As I go through this document, you can see that it's got everyone's details. There are 20 letters in total, and there are 20 records here in total, or 20 lines of text. So you can see that it's done that merge for us quite nicely. So anyway, that's basically a mail merge. So you can save this as a separate document. You can keep your original, keep your original, keep the saving that. But then this is my next document, which I will save in a particular place. I'll save it in the same place. So there we go. Make sure you save the sec extra document. I'm just going to do one more quick example. So let's take this document where we're doing cards. I want to do individual cards for all the people that are going on that campsite. I want it to look like that. So what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to do the mail merge. So let's have a look. Let's go mailings. Start the mail merge. We're going to do make it letters. You could do labels, but I'm going to do it because it's like this. I'm going to use letters. And then I'm going to select my recipients. I'm going to use an existing list. There's my list of details. I'm going to use that one again. I'm going to use that cheat correct. I'm not going to edit the list. I want cards for everyone. So I'm not going to edit it. I'm going to come here. So this is where we're going to get the name. So let's have a look. Here. I want the name to go there. So that's going to be the name. And I want it to be like that format. There we go. And I'm going to go, okay, I want to put in the surname over here. Now, it not, might make it a bit difficult to read, but if we go preview it, it'll be fine like that. So it's okay. It's not too bad. Maybe we do want to make it just a little bit smaller. So we can edit those fields just to make them a little bit smaller like that. There we go. Let's make them 44. There we go. And then where do we get this from? We get this from the team. So I'm going to select that text and go here to mailings and go insert the team. And then the leader will come from the leader field. And then the campsite will come from the campsite field. So there we go. So there we go. There we've got our little record. So if I preview the results, you can see there we go. It makes a nice little card for John Smith. So now I want to do that for everyone. So I want everyone to have their own unique card. Now look what happens if I copy and I just paste this over here. And I paste it over there. And I paste it over there. So I, that's what I'm technically doing. I'm pasting it three times. Boom, boom, boom. So there we go. And then if I go preview results, the problem is I don't want all of these to be John Smith. I want this to be John Smith and this to be Jane Doe. So I want it to move on to the next person, basically. So if you want to do something like this where you've got multiple letters on the same page, what you can do is over here, after campsite, you want to then move to the next record. Let's come here to rules. And you've got all these rules. You can play around with them, but I want to then move to the next record. After you've done the campsite, move to the next record and then same for this one so each one must move to the next record so i'm just going to insert the next record basically to the back of each of these there we go boom i don't need to do it for the last one because that will automatically do that for the next page but all of those need to be next record so it'll fill in these details move to the next record fill in these details move to the next record. let's preview it now there we go. Now you can see it's John Smith, Jane Doe, Sarah Jane, Michael Hanson. So now you can see how it's looking. Okay. So that works a lot better. I just got rid of that extra page. But we can see the results. There we go. Preview them again. There we go. So let's go finish and merge. Edit individual documents. We went all the records. And now I've got a page that's got all of there's everyone's cards. And there's the next set of cards and so on. And so on. So there we go. Obviously, if we get to a point where we've run out of records, it'll just fill in the blanks. But you get the idea. So there we go. I've got a nice little way of doing like little cards, which I can now print and laminate if I want to. And there we go. That is mail merge. So remember the five steps. We come here to mailings. You start the mail merge. You select your recipients. If you want to edit them, you can. You insert your fields. You preview it just to make sure it matches everything. If you don't, if it doesn't match what you want, then go back to insert and modify what you need to and then finish and merge. And that is mail merge. For more videos in the series on Microsoft Word, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure to look at the players for other topics that might interest you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.